the uh, statue I'm working on is uh, the so-called Apollo Saitante, which is a way of saying Apollo the Archer. The uh, form you see here is um, he's stepping forward and either stringing an arrow onto a bow, which would have been in his, in his hands and is, is no longer here, um, or he would have just released the arrow. Um, and he's made of bronze, which basically means he's predominantly copper, with some tin and a little bit of lead. He came to us in the condition he had some structural instabilities that needed to be addressed, such as in the right foot, and then also the issue of the drapery. The problem with those drapery were that they were incredibly heavy. In fact, combined, they were in total the same weight of the statue in and of itself. It's just now they're cantilevered out on these arms, one of which had suffered quite badly from when um, it had fallen out of use. So it was a destabilizing factor in pulling the statue forward, but also putting a lot of stress on some of these broken joints. So the decision was made to remove these later drapery additions. And now we're in the process of recreating the earlier drapery that had been placed there in a modern material that's uh, more stable and lightweight. Uh, this is a two-part epoxy putty. And uh, basically, I'm recreating the drapery in this putty. And so you know, in essence, the fact that it's you know, this consistency allows me to kind of model it in place and then uh, can work from more detailed and then pull it out being respectful of the ancient form while also then looking with uh, to the graphic documentation of the 19th century to try to combine the two to uh, recreate what, it, what would have been there at the beginning of the 19th century. As you can see in this open patch in the, in the left thigh that he has a lot of internal metal hardware that was put in in the early 19th century immediately after his recovery and that was in order to assemble all the various pieces together. So, you know, what you're seeing here is, you know, basically what they did not intend you to see. This large uh, square sectioned piece of iron in the middle, that's the structural armature that was inserted in the 19th century. So in essence, the whole piece is built around that. Mm -hmm. It's tied in here in a cross brace. So that ties it into the leg. It's also tied into the lower back and then into the neck. So really, the whole bronze is attached to this and that's actually what's keeping it standing up. You know, the bronze itself is not bearing any weight. It's mm. all done on that. What you're seeing then behind that and in front of that, you see various bolts. You can see bolt heads over in here. You can also see the ends of bolts. So you can see some are inserted from the interior, some from the exterior. And those were ways of reinforcing the joint. So you had a break here. So it was found in the 19th century, broken in this part. And so they put these metal straps that are you know, almost like bridges. That's literally what they do. So you tie into healthy metal over here and healthy metal over here, and then the weak metal is kind of in the midpoint, and it's reinforced by these, by these metal straps. What you see here is actually, um, we're replacing the hardware that had been inserted in the 19th century. What you can see around here is, this was a non-weight-bearing um, joint, that's what they interpret it to be. It's just, the foot basically just contacts the, the display surface. So they simply soldered it in place. Using, again, this epoxy putty that we're reconstructing the um, the drapery bits with, go ahead and put a, a isolating barrier on either side of the interior and then put in this putty so that I can take up the volume. Leaving this airspace makes it collapsible and then by inserting this pin I can space it all so that it's all held in basically in compression. It will be aesthetically integrated so that you won't see um, all the solder line as well as many of these gaps. You know the idea of course is to bring something that's a little bit less unsightly and that's dealing with the aesthetics.